You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. Usually we use F5 as a load balancer with using and configuring a standard virtual server. But in this section we will use F5 as a gateway with using and configuring another type of the virtual server. Forwarding or IP forwarding virtual server. Before we start configuring F5 as a gateway, let's first make sure that the routing through F5 does not work by default. If you remember, our F5 Big IP has two main interfaces, internal in the section network and then self IP, internal with the IP address 192.168.10.1 and external interface with the IP address 192.168.2.180.0. I have a virtual machine connected to the internal interface of Big IP with the IP address in the subnet 192.168.10.24 SH which is the internal interface of the F5 Big IP and the gateway points to the 10.1 which is the IP address of F5 Big IP. If we try to connect to the internet or other network via F5 Big IP, the connection is expected not to be established. For example, ping 888, and you see that the connection to the internet is not working. All the packets are lost, eight packet transmitted, but no packet is returned. In order to connect to the internet via F5 Big IP, in addition to the routing, NAT or network address translation must also be configured. Therefore, I first configure a NAT pool that must be used in IP forwarding virtual server in the local traffic section and address translation. I will add a new NAT pool, for example, with two IP address with the name Internet NAT Pool. With the IP address 192.168.293 and 94, two IP address in the NAT pool. To route traffic through F5 Big IP, it is required to configure a virtual server with the type of forwarding IP. So far, we have used always a standard virtual server type which is used for load balancing if we create a new virtual server there are different type of the virtual server by default is a standard but exists also forwarding layer 3 or forwarding ip with the name of f5 gateway and in the a source address section, we configure the IP address of the subnet that is allowed to forward via F5 Big IP, which is here 10 0 slash 24. In the destination address mask section, we configure 0 0 0 slash 0 because the service behind the F5 Big IP wants to connect to the internet slash 0. And for the port, we select all ports. For the protocol, we select all protocol. Since we don't want to limit the servers in internet connectivity, we limit the VLAN to the internal VLAN that is connect that is allowed to connect to the internet. And finally, we enable source address translation with a NAT pool that we have just created with the name of Internet NAT pool and then finish. Now we check again the connectivity of the service behind F5 device with ping 88 and as we expected the connectivity is established through F5 Big IP. I will browse also a website, for example, raika-co.com. 
com as expected connectivity is now possible via f5 big ip device it is also possible to monitor the new ip forwarding virtual service through ltm module statistics let's first make sure the website is open in the module statistics and then local traffic and then in the section virtual server here is the section f5 gateway virtual server and these are the statistics the number of bytes and packets and the connection forwarded through the f5 big ip which shows this new virtual server with the new type is working correctly it is also recommended to monitor network translation snat translation and these are two new ip addresses that we have used for our new virtual server as you see they both are matched and shows the number of bits and packets and connection forwarded and translated to these two new addresses obviously it is possible to use f5 at the same time as load balancer and also as a gateway